What's good YouTube? How y'all doing man? Welcome to a brand new video man. Today I'm gonna give you guys a sniper session plus a new filter. This is one of my go-to filters when I feel like I need to snipe bigger cars. People say that oh I'll be nickel and diamond which I really don't. I just you gotta learn the prices in each bracket if you guys want to be a successful sniper. I think that you need to you know work your way up in each bracket. So today's bracket is going to be the 86 to 87 bracket. Um, this is this is one of the more consistent filters that I try to snipe in. It's not always consistent as far as just like being in this filter, but it's consistent as far as like seeing prices and whatnot. So what I like to do is I like to do 31 through 40 and I like to do 41, I mean 21 through 30. And then if 21 to 30 is full, I'll go 41 through uh, 50. So basically this is what I do. So I'm sitting here and I'm going back and forth on the offensive side. Now, Sometimes I'll switch and go all offense, all defense, and then I'll keep switching back and forth. Like I'll go like 31 through 40, right? And I try to pick the where most of the cars are at, and then I'll go all defense. I'll go back and forth, all offense, all defense. Now, depending on if it's full or not, like right here, it's not full, so I can keep going back and forth. But sometimes this filter could get full with the all defense and I just keep on stay on all offense because it's just easier. Now, I don't know much about the all defense prices because I don't really do all defense that much. So, it's, it's mainly the all offense. Like, all offense, I'm more familiar with the prices. And this is really all you want to do. You just want to keep going back and forth, all offense, all defense. And it's it's super simple. You'll make you'll make a fair amount of coins in here. I'm not going to lie. Like, the, cars, the Mutt Hero cars sell pretty fast. I don't know. I just I just kind of like the consistency of this filter when you could do all defense and all offense I like the consistency of it but um yeah I, I, I don't think like I always tell y'all like only use a filter when you feel like you're ready to use a filter because with these cards a lot of these cards due to like whatever day the EA decides to drop a promo a lot of these cards tank um I want to say flashback flashbacks coming out today so obviously the flashback cards are gonna tank a little bit the other ones that's already out and what you want to do is you just want to figure out those tanking cars and, f and figure out what you can how much money you can make while these cars are tanking in my opinion snipes are not as consistent as I would want them to be like if they are they're like 2k like 2k here 2k there like and I've tried using the all the all off I mean, I mean the all players and going team by team but it's just not a filter that I'm like comfortable with just because I just feel like it's so much stuff out there so broad that you miss a lot of cards but maybe that's just because I haven't been sniping for that long like today marks a week of me just sniping on this game consistently so maybe that not even a week, probably like four days. And I ain't even gonna say it's been consistent because it's been days where I haven't been sniping and then that days that I have. And when I do snipe, I'm only sniping for like an hour max. And then it's just like, I get off and go about my day. So it's like, maybe I'm not as familiar with the cars as everybody else. So I don't know exactly how much everything's gonna sell for. And maybe that's hurting me a little bit because if, it, if I knew that, then maybe I could do the team by team. And all players team by team so I don't know it's just to me that I just feel like the sniping hasn't been as consistent as it was last year and you can't like you could you could re personally you could rearrange prices but it, not as much as you could last year like I could have buy I could buy out a whole card and then just change the price and it would literally just be a crazy amount of money but this year i feel like i don't know if it's just me but every time i get ready to buy out a card three of them get posted right away and it's like yeah i would have been screwed because when i say buy out a car you basically just buy the whole uh hold on oh shit i'm about to lose this yep i lost it I'm not it. Basically, you just buy out the the whole card. I don't know what I was doing. Like I was, I don't know what I was doing. But 
basically you just buy out the whole card and then you just you sell it like you sell it for the price that you want to sell it for and nine times out of ten nine times out of ten you'll make the money back like ASAP low-key like because the demand of the card is gone like there's no demand on that card anymore I mean the demand on the card is high and you have the demand because none of the other cards are on the block so I personally liked doing that in Madden 19 but it seems like doing it here as soon as you buy a card out or you buy more than one of the same card it's just boom like everybody posts a card up or maybe that's just EA like filtering out us like people who are trying to like you know do crazy stuff with the game but mm, just my opinion I could be wrong I could just be unfortunate in a lot of situations but that's just how I feel about the the sniping this year or maybe not a lot of people are sniping anymore because the game is just so solo challenge based and so like okay I gotta open up packs if I want to be good like I just that's just my opinion I can't do much with him that's just my opinion on the game at this point it's just like you gotta grind you you gotta grind this game and you don't really catch up you can't really catch up I think by just sniping unless you just like crazy sniping like doing ridiculous uh, training methods and all this kind of stuff then yeah but if you just sniping and casually sniping you, and you don't want to like do solo challenges you'll get left behind in this game as far as coins and stuff like that because there's to me what I've been seeing is there's not as many snipes as it usually is don't be switching through a bunch of filters because if you're consistent in one filter then you'll be able to make money in that filter regardless of even if it's not like even if the block isn't moving as fast as you want it to, even if the cars are not, you know, being at a at a price that, or, or you're not seeing a lot of snipes, you'll still be able to make money because then you'll be able to see like, okay, Zach Martin normally sells for like 76. Uh, I see one for 66. Yeah, it's not making me too many coins, but if I put them up for 76, that that's still a decent amount of money, 4K or whatever, however much it will be. But... I'm just saying, like, you'll be able to see these small little, like, small little coins when other people don't see it. They just see it as, oh, shit. They just see it as, oh, this is this is close to its price, so I can't do nothing with that. Like, that one right there, that's that's a nice little that's a nice little chump change right there. Like, what, 7K? I mean, like I said, man, if you consistently in these filters, you'll know, the, you'll know how much you can make off of cars that's being posted. Like... If I wasn't consistently in his filter, I would have thought that, oh, I you know I couldn't, I can't make no money off of that. But obviously, I can. It'll be, I think I bought it for 41k. It'll be, it'll be a little bit, it'll be a little bit above like six, seven k, which isn't crazy. But you get a couple, you get what? Hold on. Let's see, this Jerry Rice talking about 45, 49, 49, 50, 52. So I always say think two cars ahead, but since these are the same price, then I'm looking at the 50, 52. So if I put them up for 52, I would need them for like 40. Anytime you see a car, anytime you see like cars around this, I probably could sell him for like 50. Let me see. Forty-five. Because these two are the same price. So they'll sell relatively quick, but they all been up for an hour and none of them sold, so he's not selling that fast. But so we got to keep it lit. We got to keep it lit. What I like to do is I like to be in a filter for like three days to a week, showing consistency, right? If I'm in that filter three days to a week, uh, I seen one up for 73, but I don't want to just cop. Yeah, see. Um, 66, oh man, I could, 66 do look right, but he's all been up for a long time and no one's bought him. 66 do look right for that, not gonna lie, but that's still only 3k, why did I go all defense? That's still only 3k, even though I would buy him for 66, I mean put him up for 66, it'll be like closer to 2k actually, but, um, 
dang, what was I finna say? Oh, consistency in these filters. But I'm gonna tell you what he did. So he bought it right for 60. And he put it up for 60. He put the bid price, he put it up for an hour. So he, he made the buy now 78, right? And then, so if somebody wants his car ASAP, they're gonna pay 78K for it. He's gonna make like what? 11K off of it. But because he put it up for 67, if the car doesn't sell and then somebody bids on it, then what will happen is he'll make 1K off of that car. So he took a risk, but he also didn't take too big of a risk because him making 1K off that car, when it sells for 68K, when somebody puts that bid in, it's he's gooch. He's good. So, like, um, I think that was a good buy for him. Wow. I don't want to make this video. Oh, 49. Oh, 49. I might be able to do something with this 49, though. Let's see. Can I do something with the 49? 58 yeah oh yeah i'm gonna do something with 49 i'm putting up for an easy 60 right and i'll make 6k 5k or whatever because it's going for 61 actually i'll put them up for 61 be greedy be greedy so that geograph yeah we made like 5k 5 point some k off of cuz not too crazy but some slight see i could have i could have put them up for 62 but I don't want to be too greedy. What I like to do is I like to make these sniper sessions because I like to show y'all what really happens in the sniper session, what I'm really thinking about. And also, like, you you never know. Sometimes you're going to have big days. Sometimes you're not going to have big days. And today's one of those days that I did. I mean, there's not a big day. I didn't have a big day. I just had maybe 20K within 20 minutes. Like, that's not terrible. I don't think it, I don't think this video is going to be longer than 20 minutes. I don't think I've been sniping longer than 20 minutes. So, I mean, it's it's not terrible, but it's not the best. You know, some days you will have a 20-minute day where you're going to make 50K. But you also got to remember, though, like, if you if you, you think about it, in 20 minutes, if you can make 20K, in an hour, you're making 60K, right? So, if you're spending what, an hour on the game a day not doing anything, you're just flipping through cars, flipping through filters, that 60K is going to add up. Every week, you're going to make, what, 300K? So if you consistently doing this every day and you making 660k an hour, which you, this is like almost a bare minimum, but 60k an hour, that means every week, if you do this every day for an hour a day, you're gonna make 300k per week, and that's that's only saying that you play five days a week. I ain't even counting the weekends. Technically, most of us play seven days. So if you playing what seven days, that's like 420k, almost 450k basically, every week. So just keep that in mind when y'all sniping. If y'all enjoyed the video, make sure y'all drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And I'm out. Peace.